The Motor City built its reputation on building cars, and when you build a lot of cars, well, you attract a lot of car thieves. In this city, however, there's another problem. Sometimes they're skipping the car theft, they're just going after the wheels and the tires. We hear all this good news about auto theft being down in Michigan, but unfortunately what's replaced that is component theft. And because it's harder to steal an entire vehicle these days, they're stealing the parts, and the tires and rims are not marked, and they're very, very marketable, so that's why we're seeing so much of that theft. How bad is it? Well, this tractor trailer is loaded with stolen tires and rims, some 240 of them, that were recovered following a lengthy theft investigation by the Southeast Auto Theft Team. And this made just a small dent in the problem. The thieves are targeting newer model cars and trucks, stealing from cars parked on the street, in a lot, at a dealership. Rental cars are particular targets because they are new and they usually have very marketable rims and tires. Rental companies report hundreds of thefts in the past couple of years. The theft ring works something like this. The street criminal steals the tires and rims and gets paid $150 to $400 to deliver them to the middleman. In turn, the middleman will sell them to willing buyers, usually smaller tire shops or collision repair shops, who get them for a bargain price of, say, $700 to $900 for a set of four. In turn, the tire shop sells them for a tidy profit, or the repair shop installs them on a car they're working on and charges the insurance company for a new set of tires, say, $1,400. Once those wheels and tires are removed from the vehicle, until recent history, there was really no way of identifying it. Even if you caught the individual with the wheels and tires shortly after they were stolen from the vehicle, then the prosecutor's office had the dilemma of proving that that particular set of wheels and tires came off of that particular uh, vehicle. How can you protect yourself? Well, there's the normal common sense precautions, park in a garage or in a well-lit area, but many times in the city that's not possible. Locks for lugs on the wheels may deter the criminal, but the experts warn that sometimes results in more damage to your car caused by frustrated thieves. Basically, if the thieves target your wheels, they'll likely get them. But marking them will help police if they're recovered. And I would strongly suggest doing that. Uh, it does not have to be marked in a manner that uh, anyone other than yourself would be able to identify. So if your wheels and tires are stolen and you've marked them in a manner that you see fit, that only you could be able to identify, then you can relay that information to police uh, as far as what your, how you marked your wheels and tires. And that's, that would serve absolutely as positive identification to us that these are your wheels and tires. Law enforcement officers and insurers are hoping new technology from the car or tire manufacturers may stem the thefts or at least aid in the ability to identify them if they're recovered. But that's still on the horizon. In the meantime, tips from the public may be the best resource available, but even a lucrative reward program hasn't generated a lot of information. We still have a lot of people that, because it's so organized, that they just don't want to get involved in that. I mean, they might call us about the little guy in the neighborhood that's stealing tires and rims, but if they know it's a big organized operation, I think they're still afraid to, to let us know what's going on. For the National Insurance Crime Bureau, I'm Roger Morris.